สวัสดีครับ Welcome to p u k e t Extra brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. I'm your host JP Mistanza, and it's Monday, April 6. t h Let's get started. Breaking news: As the restrictions on all commercial flights arriving into the kingdom has now been extended by the Civil Aviation Authority of Thailand all the way to April 1 8th, which is next Saturday. The CAAT released the news just this afternoon, as Thailand has already restricted the entry of all passenger flights this past weekend. Thailand is not allowing foreigners to enter except for diplomats. Work permit holders and a few others exempted by the prime minister himself. These people must also have a fit to fly health certificate issued less than 72 hours from the flight, as well as a T8 form, and they will be screened upon landing in Thailand. Thai nationals looking to head back home are being asked to contact their local Thai embassy and heed their instructions. But Thailand will be repatriating its own citizens, as today alone, 111 Thais were flown back from Indonesia, but they're going to be quarantined in Hat Yai. Once flights are allowed to once again land in Thailand, everyone is expected to quarantine for 14 days. People with a fever will be sent to hospitals for treatment, while people with no fever will be taken to state quarantine facilities, according to officials. All this after, on Friday night, about 158 Thai nationals arrived on five different flights in Japan, Singapore, and Qatar, landing in Bangkok Suvarnabhumi Airport. And while health officials explained the compulsory 14-day quarantine for them, which has to be done at state facilities. Only six of those people agreed, and the other 152 refused. With a commotion taking place there, as they explained that they had no idea about the self-quarantine in advance. Reports are murky, saying they were allowed to go home to quarantine by officials, but then after being threatened with arrest by government officials and told to show up at the airport in Bangkok or their own provincial offices in their local provinces by 6 p.m. on Saturday to be taken to their state quarantine facilities. Reports say that 134 reported nationwide, while police were said to have gone to arrest the remaining 24. Thailand's nightly curfew began this past weekend, as everyone nationwide has been ordered to stay indoors from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. every night. While the Phuket governor has asked people on the island to stay indoors at 8 p.m. nightly, regardless, a few people tried to stay out after curfew. Friday night was the first time the coronavirus curfew came into effect nationwide, with reports of over 1,300 officers and military personnel having patrolled the streets to enforce the nationwide curfew here in Phuket. On that first night, Patong police reported eight people were arrested in Patong overnight for breaking curfew. Most of them Thais and two Myanmar nationals and one Chinese national. They were taken to Patong Police Station, and it's not known if those specific people were charged. Meanwhile, just this morning, r a w a i Police reported arresting nine people last night for, for breaking the nationwide curfew. They were all caught at a police checkpoint set up on w i s i t Road in front of the Sea Gypsy Village near the r a w a i Beachfront. All nine were taken to Chelong Police Station and charged. Previously, police did say that anyone who intentionally breaks the curfew without a valid reason will face up to two years imprisonment and/or a fine of up to 40,000 baht. Nationwide, police say they charged 708 people who broke curfew overnight from Sunday to Monday morning. While the nationwide curfew is from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m., there is a Phuket curfew. Although enforcement has been laxed on that, with reports of police officers simply asking people to go back home and stay inside if they're caught between 8 p.m. and 10 p.m., while anyone found past 10 p.m. outside, again without a valid reason or any exemption, they will face prison time, a fine, or both. Meanwhile, talk of a 24-hour curfew has been making the rounds, but it has not been implemented or announced. While Patong has already been ordered to shut down, with police checkpoints set up at the three main entrances to the city, the Phuket governor has ordered r a w a i and Karon to do the same. The order to shut down both Karon and r a w a i was signed yesterday by the governor to prevent the spread of the COVID-19 coronavirus. With checkpoints into Karon set up at the Karon viewpoint, as well as the entrance to Freedom Beach and also on Kata Hill, according to reports. 
In Rewind, meanwhile, there was no mention of a checkpoint at Chalong Circle, the main traffic entry point into Rewai, and our tour of the southern part of Phuket today, we didn't see any police checkpoint in Rewai, although that could change as days go by. In Patong, a similar shutdown order was made on Friday, and it came into effect over the weekend, with checkpoints set up in three areas. The first is in front of the Katu police station on Prabarami Road near Patong Hill. The second is on Sirirat Road at the southern end of Patong. And the third is on the Kamala Patong Road at the northern end of Patong. In all three municipalities, people are being asked to stay indoors, with officials ordered to sanitize important public areas and all non-essential vehicles that are banned from entering or leaving. The order also said public health officials will, quote, be deployed to check the areas for the virus. The Rawai shutdown was ordered specifically after health officials in the south discovered Russian tourists were staying at a condo project in Rawai who they believe had been staying in Patong, the epicenter of the, of the crisis here in Phuket. Those people have been asked to lo by local officials to quarantine themselves for 14 days, despite not showing any signs of the coronavirus infections. The order pointed out that anyone who violates it will face up to a year in prison and or a fine of up to 100,000 baht or both. However, if you're lucky enough to have a plane ticket out of Thailand to your home country, you can get through those checkpoints by showing your plane ticket to head to the airport. The number of confirmed COVID infections in Thailand now stands at 2,220, while Phuket announced four new cases today. Out of the 2,220 total confirmed infections for the nation, including 51 new cases today alone, 793 of those cases are people who are who fully recovered already, 119 of them today. Bangkok has the largest number of cases with 1,051, followed by Notaburi with 143 and Phuket with 123 total cases for new ones today alone. Lampang and Sakon Nakon provinces also announced their first confirmed coronavirus infections over the weekend. Three new deaths were also reported nationwide today, bringing the death toll in Thailand to 26. One of the dead includes a 28-year-old Thai man who fell sick on March 27th when he died late on Saturday night. Although 51 daily cases is a comparatively small number for Thailand, officials did warn that many suspected new cases are being investigated and they could be confirmed later this week. Several new measures are now being discussed to help certain segments of foreigners in Thailand affected by the coronavirus crisis. A proposal sent to the cabinet in Bangkok divides foreigners into three groups. The first are foreigners with resident visas who normally live in Thailand, but they can't come back because of the crisis. This group is normally required to come back to the kingdom within a year of them leaving, and the Immigration Bureau is proposing to extend your compulsory return deadline after the coronavirus pandemic ends. The second group are foreign tourists who are stranded in Thailand who reported to immigration for a 30-day extension after March 26. The Immigration Bureau is proposing to automatically renew your visa every 30 days until the pandemic subsides. Note that this does not include foreigners who are working or have a family in Thailand. The third group are visitors from neighboring countries who hold temporary border passes and got stuck when the borders were shut. These people can stay in Thailand until the border reopens, and when they do, this group will have one week to leave. Other foreigners in Thailand who are not part of these three groups are advised to adhere to the usual laws. But again, all of this is a proposal. Here's a quick roundup of places around the country and their COVID-19 control measures. Koh Samui has announced that starting Tuesday and until the end of April, they will only allow ferry arrivals who have health certificates saying they don't have COVID-19 issued within the last 72 hours of heading into Samui. The airport in Samui will also be closed from April 7th to April 30th. Pangna province, just north of Phuket, they're banning entry of all people and vehicles with a few exceptions, with hotels also ordered to close except those with current guests and those designated as emergency venues in that province. Chomburi has closed all of their hotels, beaches, and entertainment venues while intensifying screening measures at the entry and exit points for the city of Pattaya. In Songkla, they're banning all entry and exit to the province with a few exceptions for emergency services and government officials. For more, visit thepuketnews.com.
And that's it for Phuket Extra today, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. Thanks again for joining us from my home here as we do our best to bring you the most up-to-date and useful information during this coronavirus pandemic. Please take care of yourselves out there, and I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket.